bug bounty. OpenAI hoping to hedge its new generative AI technology against future problems by offering to pay coders to discover any bugs in its systems. Now, some of the criteria might surprise you. Yahoo Finance's Ali Garfinkel has the details. Ali, what are you watching? Hi, Rochelle. So you said it. This program is called OpenAI's Bug Bounty Program, and it's being run in conjunction with a company called Bug Crowd, which is a crowdsourced platform that allows ethical hackers to identify and submit vulnerabilities in systems. Now, for OpenAI, they're willing to pay up for this, right? Um, for hackers who find bugs the for it, that are low severity, it can be $200, but for really exceptional finds, really big vulnerabilities that are kind of unearthed, it can the payout can be as much as $20,000. Um, and people are already taking OpenAI up on this, right? Um, this was just launched yesterday, and 14 vulnerabilities have already been reported and rewarded in the system. Now, um, the turnaround time you just saw is pretty fast. Most of the claims are turned around in about three hours. And um, the average payout has been more than a grand. So it's not the 20,000 of your dreams, but it's certainly, it certainly is a hefty price tag. And you know, for me, bottom line, the way I interpret this is that OpenAI is pulling absolutely every lever it can to build trust in ChatGPT and its other products. Well, you know, even a thousand dollars, nothing to sneeze at in this economy. But Ali, talk about why this is something that OpenAI would want to invest this kind of time into. It's a great question, Rochelle. And I think it comes down to the fact that the stakes are really high here, both societally and monetarily, right? As the AI hype cycle has grown, so has the backlash, right? We've seen even vaunted tech CEOs and figures um, from Steve Wozniak to Elon Musk say, wow, we need to slow this down. Um, but the reality is you sort of can't stop the pull of ChatGPT. The ChatGPT's, ChatGPT's iPhone moment came and it's hard to back away from. Remember in January, ChatGPT became the fastest growing consumer app in history. It hit 100 million users just a few months after its launch. Um, and I was actually looking at a PWC statistic. Um, by, by 2030, I believe about 15 trillion will be contributed to the economy by globally by AI. So I'd say, why would OpenAI do this? The reality is medium term and long term, there's a lot of money on the table and they have every incentive to build as much trust as humanly possible, especially in this moment. And it's interesting because one of the, the little, the ways you could also get money is trying to basically trick uh, the OpenAI into writing malicious code. How does that work? And, and should we be so invested in AI when there are still so many bugs still being worked out, but you have big tech rushing in at this point? Yeah, and I think everybody's rushing. Well, it's, it's part of the tech ethos, right, Rochelle? Nobody wants to miss out. Nobody wants to be the last one in. Um, but I will say, as I was looking at, as I was you know, having used ChatGPT quite a lot, um, I do actually find some of these bugs pretty difficult to find. And I actually do find some comfort in ChatGPT's case, especially that a lot of these bugs we've seen so far, the payouts are relatively low, right? If the scale is 200 to 20,000, it seems like there are some substantial bugs, but there's nothing has been unearthed immediately that says, oh, we actually have a really big problem here. So I would say, yes, um, there certainly are things to be concerned about. However, this, th th these numbers don't look as bad as I was expecting to be completely frank. I'd say, I'd say if you're out there and you're saying, how much should I trust ChatGPT? The answer is for direct information, not at all. It only goes up to, I believe 2021 with a couple of small exceptions. Um, but I definitely do find some comfort in the fact that OpenAI is making it available and is really going out there saying, hey, we want you to find these bugs. And I think if they weren't doing that, that might be even more concerning. No, that, that's a fair point. We'll have to keep a lookout and see if we see any of those $20,000 uh, bounty problems coming up. Ali Goldfinkel, you know. thank you for that update. <laughs>